Welcome back guys another video from the boat guy. This is Keith Today we're going to be showing you a 21 foot tide water CC adventure This is a uh, very nice boat very popular boat You notice the nice Carolina flare with the deep V smooth riding boat now guys, if you come down, these boats are wrapped right now, but they're wrapped in clear, so you can actually get a really good idea of what the boat looks like. And we even put in doors. So you can climb in and out, take a look at the boat. There's nothing on this boat that you can't see right now. Tidewater boats are known for having a really wide beam, a deep V with a wide flare to them. And what that's going to do, for those who don't know, just going to provide a lot of stability and comfort in the boat. Tidewaters now also have a lifetime hull warranty. But let's climb up and take a look inside. Power in this boat is 200 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke. Nice motor, plenty of get up and go for this boat. No problem, swim ladders, standard, drops down, bungee, flip it down, climb up in the boat. Walk through transom door, standard. Now on the adventure style boats, they're more of a fisherman's boat. Not necessarily for a fisherman, but more comfortable for a fisherman. Why? Because there's no seating right here and there's no wrap through so it doesn't wrap around to the console so this this style boat is still good for the family you can fit plenty you got lots of seating but you want to walk around you get that big fish on the front you got to run up front real quick you got to run to the bow no problem it's open boat has really has some high gunnels bolsters built in rod holders Live well, aerated, access to bilge pump. This seat will easily slide right up in that rail, giving you plenty of space to walk through this boat. Not that there's not enough already. There's probably a good two feet here. You fold it up, you probably have four feet. More rod holders, port side, fuel tank fill. Another neat thing about Tidewater boats, flush mounted cleats, they pop on and pop back down. Another thing that gives this boat a clean look is that the nav lights are built into the rub rail. They don't stick out, they're LED. Um, there's no, it's very, it, this whole boat is flush. Center console, we got Sea Star hydraulic steering. With tilt, push this button in. So we'll tilt up and down, giving you more space to navigate through the console area. Plenty of space on the panel to rig your favorite Garmin. Have the boat guys zip it up, get you out. JL stereo on the boat. Two speakers on the T-top. Two speakers on the bow. Plenty of accessory controls here, guys. If you take a look, horn, nav and anchor, live well pump, wash down pump, bilge, courtesy lights, and accessories. Lots of accessories. One of the first things you'll see, one accessory, hooked right up, fresh water shower. Okay, that's a must. Dual battery switch. Don't go out with a dead battery. You'll see on my other videos too. I rave about this deluxe drop seating. Uh, this seating is really nice, guys, because one of two things. A, extra back support. It's a little higher up. Contoured to your back. When you are leaning, it gives you just a lot of extra support, more comfort, more stability less less pain especially if it's bumpy out there 
Let's say you want to sit down. Fold that down. Pop right up. You got a foot rest. This is a really nice feature. Courtesy lights throughout the boat. When you hit the lights, cup holders light up. You got lights throughout the T-top. Spreader lights available on this boat. This boat does have trim tabs built in. And uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, there's plenty of uh, more features. You can always feel free to pick my brain. You want to call and talk about these boats. You want to talk about other boats. You want to talk about the weather. Feel free to call me. Keith at the Boat Guy, 508 563 1961. And as always, Thank you for watching.